peatlands are present all around the world, in Southeast Asia, Central Africa, in the UK, and even in the Arctic. In peatland ecosystems, the vegetation and the soil are both vulnerable to fire. When a wildfire happens in a peatland, it will typically start as a flaming fire and consume the trees and the vegetation on the surface. The flames can sometimes ignite the soil underneath. This ignited soil burns via smoldering, a flameless, low-temperature combustion. Smoldering fires can burn for long time periods, weeks or sometimes months, even after the flames are extinguished. Peatland smoldering fires are the most persistent fires on Earth and create a positive feedback mechanism to climate change, as while well burning they release large amounts of ancient carbon. Scientists try to detect these fires so that they can alarm the fire brigades and suppressing activities can start when the fires are still at an early stage. To detect fires, the most common technology is via satellites, which use infrared sensors. However, while the infrared signatures between flaming and smoldering radiation are different, the sensors cannot currently distinguish between flaming and smoldering fires. At Imperial Haze Lab, we compare the infrared signals of smoldering and flaming fires in laboratory controlled experiments. We found that radiation from flaming is two to five times stronger than smoldering at any wavelengths. Our work provides fundamental knowledge needed to distinguish smoldering and flaming fires and help improve the remote sensing of peatland wildfires so useful information about location and fire type can be shared with firefighters. With early detection and fire type information, the suppression can be performed immediately and the firefighting strategy can be more efficient. This way, we can minimize the negative impact of peatland wildfires on people and on the environment. Our work will help stop smoldering wildfires, save lives and protect our planet Earth. <laughs>